What is up everybody? Welcome to the third video and I think this might be the final video today. So what we're doing in this video is a little bit of a grind guide for stuff. The objectives. We're going to go over like the best ways to do and smash out the objectives. Also uh, the solo event. So I've got some really kind of like quick top tips and how to kind of get that grind it out because it actually is really good. The solo event in particular, the cat's meow, because of what is down as one of the rewards. In my personal opinion, like these five full energy refills Man, that's great. That's, what is that, like 180 units of value. And for somebody that, like myself, who's not spending units on these energy on energy refills, this is a godsend. Yes, we did get some compensation earlier today. That was great. But let's grind out this stuff. First of all, Sinister Ones and Spidey Sense can be done in tandem. It can even be done in Arena and also kind of like triple up when it comes to doing the solo event. But we're going to break down each individual one as we go. In all actuality, doing the heist is probably one of the best ways to interact with some of the champions. If you go to the side quest heist, then you'll literally find as soon as you enter some of these temp uh, temporal rifts, and as you can do all the difficulties, just simply kind of going in and having a Spider-Verse champion on you at the same time does help just in case you interact with some of the champions. But you may find that on some of the routes you go up against Vulture, you're going against some of the others. So there's a whole kind of host of options for you to go and uh, do the grind with. The other way that you can achieve these objectives being done from the point of like defeating certain champions like uh, Venom and the others is searching up some stuff. So if you want to use do some duels, uh, just search in fun into there. And then first of all, we'll just pop up a, a little Venom. That's just a, a rank one three star, which is pretty easy to do. Pick a Spider-Verse champion like this. And then it's just a case of just smacking them to your heart's delight. And this will be the first one that sinister, uh, sinister, the Sinister's one, uh, one you can do. And you've got replay on dueling, which you can do, as I said, for free five times. You could do that over the space of, I think, it's four days. So you get five a day, you know, four times five is 20. So that's that one. Also, it wouldn't be a new month. It wouldn't be a new update without uh, connection problems. Who knew? Watching streams, which I'm watching, Dr. Dr. Disrespect at the moment, and other stuff, and going, oh, right, right, well, you know, I can, I got good enough internet. Just. Unfortunately, the game's a little bit uh, slack and stuff. But look, you know, as I said, the point still remains. Go and get your grind on. Go and grab those uh, the sinister ones, which is a very doable thing. And you get that nice little profile pick right off the bat. Obviously, I don't want to spend any units. Units are very valuable for me at the moment. But you can just see it just popped up there uh, that we've just added a few more kind of like bits to that. And you can also kind of like grind that in different areas. It doesn't have to be that. You can go and do questing. There is a Doc Ock in 1.6, which is a three energy target. I'm sure there's going to be some other stuff in, in lower quests. But look, it's ISO at the end of the day. Act 1, Chapter 1. Uh, six in malice as soon as we get into it uh, should be a three energy or oh, I think it's a four, is it one two three it is three energy three energy doc ock if you want to repeat it down but I will be brutally honest I think that you'll probably be able to um, you know smash this out just by just organic means of any kind of quest or head to the arena and go and do some grinding and that's probably one of the cheapest ways of doing it without, without kind of like relying on anything else temple heist objectives are easy to get done i don't really need to kind of let you know how to do that because essentially it's just go through to the end that's basically it they're very easy to do all of them are very kind of easy that are revolved around those temporal heists so go and get the grind on there but hold on to your temporal lock picks because you will need them that's one thing you can get these objectives done just don't spend your temporal lock picks until at least week three when it's time to consider what you're going to do with the um the kind of the spend of them will you kind of acquire things like shards will you acquire things like rank up materials so yeah get those objectives smashed out but at the same time maybe hold on to those temporal lock picks until it feels right to actually spend them on something that's actually worth actually getting let's now focus the attention on something that's the well it's the solo events really that solo event is the fun and cheesable thing so i had like a few methods which i actually think is really cool so to get this all done, you will need to win an arena fight for 100 points, win an arena fight with Spider-Man Classic, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, or Spider-Man 2099. Those four champions, which is a little bit specific and it's a little bit annoying. And also Black Cat and Scorpion, but we don't have them just yet. So there may be some free free stars down the line. I don't know. But when it comes to how to do this, unfortunately, you will need to do it in uh, arena. And how do you get this done in the most easiest shape and form fashion and enjoyable? Here is your option. So the point side of things, as we said, 15,000 points you need, right? If you divide that by 100, 
that gives you 150 fights you have to do. That's actually pretty sucky to do 150 fights. But if you take that 100 for the win, you then add it to the 250 points for Miles Morales and some of the others, you get 350 points, okay? So 315,000 divided by 350 points is 43 there's a remainder, but 43 fights, okay? 43 fights. It's very different from 150 fights, isn't it? Okay, what's the best method to achieve that? Well, if you, it is over a case of, uh, is it 40 days that we've got to do that? It is over 30 days, sorry. It's over 30 days, right? So, when it comes to um, the grind, if you are... Um, and I've set up a little kind of like uh, thing right here, part of my note, was if you had a Spider-Man 2099, a 3 star and a 4 star, you get 700 points. If you have a Spider-Gwen 3 star and a 4 star, 700 points. If you've got Spider-Man 2 star, 3 star and 4 star, it's 1,050 points. The same thing on Mars Morales. What I'm getting to, the point is that if per day or if per rotation, okay, every rotation, you're getting 3,500 points times 8 for the day could lead to 28,000 points. So the point I'm getting to, it's not too ridiculous. So I'm just gonna show you like a method. This isn't the method, but this is a method if you choose to use it. So if you're just starting off, like for me, what, I, what I've been doing is uh, is this. I've been, as you can see, Spider-Gwen's been used. I've been using it. I've been using them at lower rating, just to kind of blast through and then ruining my streak. I'm gonna go and try and give you an example right here. So if you go to your tags, which is there at tags, and you put in something like Spider Verse, Spider Verse Heroes, which some of those champions are, you get this. So I've got some here that are kind of lurking around uh, that I need to use. So let's have a look. What have I got to use? Well, I've got a Miles Morales there. I've got uh, Spider Gwen's in use because I used that theory a minute ago. Uh, but yeah, there's some of the, the champions that I could have. Let's go to an arena where I can actually start you know, building up points. Like this arena right here. So this is the Summoner Trials. Now the biggest problem with this is I'm more than likely gonna reach, I'm gonna like hit off against something that's gonna be more stronger. Now look, this is the problem. The problem is I'd reach off against this. So I, rather than using the Spider-Verse Champions, I've got this here. Again, just, just to explain why I'm killing off my streak, and I, I do, I'm annoyed about this, but it's kind of like a really good method of, of kind of getting the milestone done quicker and getting those energy refills. So what I first need to do is, well, rely on Kabam to release a game that's got decent connection, you know, connection uh, status. And then what I do right here is go to quit, quit the fight, kill off my streak. Why did I do that? Am I mad? No, I'm all about just putting in these champions right here. So we've got the champions that I need. Uh, I should have researched if we've got a Mars Morales. And it, what it basically means is I'm able to ride easier uh, grabs of those points because they're not they're not Starridge Pacific. Uh, it all kind of like saying, okay, you get more for six stars, let you you know less for five stars, four stars, three stars. It does mean that what I can do is I can do this. I can go like, okay, well the fights are easier for me right at the very beginning of this. So if I kind of feel like I'm reaching at a point where it's stacking too high and the enemies I'm facing off against are, uh, you know, more higher, then it's it's gonna be harder. So like the the less that the champions I go up against have ratings and also health points and the damage I can do means that this is more easier. These these first kind of like times ones, times 1.25s, times twos of uh, building up a streak is easier. So therefore I would build up my points quicker. Like I'd, I've started this at 3,350 points based on some quick grinding in some of the higher areas. And the best thing about this is that these champions here, two star and three star, which we're gonna finish off in a minute, they are a lot, you know, frequently in their rotation of stamina. Stamina is when they reset. So as they reset, straight back in again, grab all the points. Now obviously the point is you need these champions or you, you you'd have to have them in your roster, which in some ways isn't exactly going to be straightforward. But it does mean that with the rotations as they are, which is like in two hours time at the point of getting this video out, you know, I'm going to be able to get a load more points as well from the six champions you just saw right there. And that's six times 350 for that sitting. As we said, 3,350 points is what I had with this. And now I'm up to 5,450. So I'm nearly up to a point of, well, I'm, I'm kind of like th uh, one third um, away, uh, one, th one third for it. I'm kind of like, uh, yeah, yeah, so like, 
I, I can't remember my kind of like um, ratios and stuff, uh, fractions and whatever. It'll probably come to me at a certain point. I'll just be like, oh yeah, I'm this. So I'm like, I don't know, one third, two thirds of the way in, whatever it is. Um, I've just got to get a further 10,000 more points, which is very doable very, very quickly. And just look at that. When I started off a little while ago, which was just before, just as this event went live, I was doing some testing out and I was like, now I'm, I'm good to go again. I've got like champions ready to go. And uh, yeah, like this is uh, hopefully gonna give me some more points, which it does. And in two hours, I'll be able to refresh that stamina. So like, it's just a really kind of like fun, doable method. Now I'm up to 6,500 points with, with this. So it's like, look, it, it's a quick method. It's up to you whether or not you are. If you are if you can lose your streak and in favor of kind of doing some of those lower champions, you've not ranked up. So that's another key thing. If you're not ranked up some of these champions, then it may be good to kind of do that method. So, you know, you do you um, with how you do it. But I kind of feel this is a really kind of like solid method of doing it. And smashing up these objectives goes side by side. Uh, so yeah, like loads of um, loads of cool stuff. Um, hope this video helped. Make sure to check out some of the tips in the spreadsheet which um, I put out on the channel. Uh, make sure to download it. Don't try to edit it. I, I don't want people editing that spreadsheet. Please try and download it to your own Google Drives or make a copy of it yourselves. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for watching this video. Hope it helped. Also, check out some other content located on screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one whenever that'll be. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.